name is Alita. I work for Cronin Home. We are a nonprofit freestanding board and lodge facility established in 1980. We offer safe, supportive, sober housing for chronic, chemically dependent men and women. Um, we have capacity for 44 individuals, 36 men and 8 women. Um, we are currently looking at expanding our women's area, which is why we are asking for our community to help. Uh, my story is I'm a recovering addict who, um, who struggled for many, many years in, um, with a inactive addiction. I spent uh, 10 years in and out of the rooms of, of recovery and, um, and found myself at a point where I couldn't take care of myself any longer. And, um, and with the help of treatment and um, some support uh, outside of the Cronin home, I, was, I managed to find my way here and, and may have maintained sobriety now for 26 months. So I'm a licensed alcohol and drug counselor here in the community, and I became a board member because I really believe in what the Coronan Home says and the mission statement, and I really just love being a part of the board because I believe the board members and the staff truly care about the people who are here. Home, it, the Corner Home is a safe haven for me. It gave me stability um, when I when I really didn't know where I was going to go. It gave me a place where I knew, um, I always knew what time dinner was. I knew what time I was expected to be home. I knew what was expected of me and they were they were things that were of my, what I was capable of at that very time. I, you know, walking into the, into sobriety when I did. Kristen, she is a board member for the Corona Home and she handles the fundraising aspect of things and I know that you guys have a barbecue that comes up every year in May. If you could just tell me how the public can be a part of that and what that does for the Corona Home. Sure. So we have our annual barbecue fundraiser. It's called the Barbecue and Blues. This coming year it's going to be May 16th. And basically, there's all-you-can-eat barbecue. We're going to have a live blues band. We have a live auction, a silent auction, a bunch of stuff for kids to do, like um, face painting, balloon artists, those kinds of things. Um, and people can come, and we have raffle tickets. Um, and you basically just show up and have a great time, and all the proceeds go to the Corona Home. Awesome. And where can people find out more about the Corona Home besides just that one-time event if they want to help out throughout the year? Sure, yeah. About it? We have a lot of people donate. Um, you can, we have a Facebook page. We also have our Corona Home website, which is www.thecoronanhome.org. And um, there's a PayPal account attached to that, so people can just donate online. Otherwise, people can stop in and make donations. Um, we have a wish list item, so if people want to bring in-kind donations, that's always helpful. Um, or mailing donations is always great, too. Perfect. And I just want to say that this is um, something that, to me, is really important, um, being a recovering addict myself, relapsing, um, and going to rehab the next time. Like, places such as Cronin Home or rehab facilities are a great place to have a safety net to focus on that sobriety in the way that you need to. So this is super special to me um, on a personal level. So thank you, Kristen. Thanks for having me. If I could pass anything on to to uh, to uh, anyone who is looking for a good start in recovery, uh, the Cronin Home is an awesome place based on uh, its cleanliness and its structure. It gave me um, it gave me so much support at any given time, night or day, because I, I anybody who's looking for a, a new beginning, this is a great place to get started. <laughs> All right, man, I want the hot seat now. <laughs> 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 <laughs>